Oh, hi baby. It's been a little minute since you fell with me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paula Jane and today's video is going to be on 15 things to do before you get your braces on like that day before. It's going to be nine things to do like right before your appointment and six things to pretty much like do and mainly five of them. One thing is to do five of them. Wait. Yeah, one of them is to do, five of them is to buy. So I just wanted to add that into the ending of this video. But yeah, it's just going to be a quick video on how to prepare yourself to get your braces on. Because I know I looked up these videos when I was getting my braces and I was trying to prepare myself to like know what I was going to get, you know, get myself into. So I'm going to get started and tell you guys kind of what to prepare yourself for. The first nine things I'm going to tell you is going to be what to do right before your appointment and kind of how to prepare yourself for getting braces on because it can be nerve-wracking. I freaking did not want to even go get my braces on because I was so nervous. But this video is here to kind of just prepare you on having the best experience. First thing would be definitely before you even get in, take a before picture. Um, I have my before picture of before I got my braces on right here and I'm gonna put it right here. <laughs> and right after you get your braces, take a picture. Mine is right here. And it's just kind of cool to look back on it and like think and like just see all the changes your your teeth have made so I recommend doing that the next thing I did or like you should do anyways would be to take painkillers before you get to your appointment or before you even get in to get your braces on not even it doesn't hurt but it's because of afterwards it allows time for the painkillers to hit because your teeth will hurt at the end of this not not stirring but at the end your mouth is going to be kind of sore your teeth are going to kind of hurt so definitely recommend taking some painkillers the next one would be bring vaseline lip balm i like personally vaseline because i don't know it's always just been my choice of lip balm comes in a lot so recommend doing that only because you will have your mouth open for a while and a lot of times your mouth gets pretty dry so keep that in mind also I feel like I should have mentioned this first but of course before you go brush your teeth you know just before you go to any dentist appointment brush your teeth <laughs> prepare to like hear drilling and noises because they will be kind of like <sighs> drilling onto your teeth in a way kind of like just like just prepare for noises obviously that's kind of how it is for every dentist just kind of prepare yourself for that i don't like noises in my head anyways it's kind of can be a lot but it's not that bad it doesn't last too long but if you are a person who does not like noises i would recommend just kind of prepare yourself for that next thing is people always ask if it hurts to actually put the brackets on again it does not hurt to put the brackets on which the brackets are those it does not hurt to put those on um so it hurts kind of at the end um when your teeth and when they're tightening everything it does kind of hurt then but when they're putting it on it's just kind of annoying having to have your mouth open but and also just prepare yourself it's gonna take about maybe one to two hours to put the braces on because they do put the brackets on one by one I did see a video where they can put the brackets like all at once but when I got mine on they did it one by one so I don't know each office that does braces is different but just prepare yourself for kind of like the long wait on that or like the long you know when they're putting everything on just prepare yourself. and the next thing would be to prepare for your mouth to hurt. <laughs> My mouth hurt at the very end, um, like when they were completely done tightening everything. Like within the next like 15 minutes after I left, it hurt. Like I'm not gonna lie. Um, my teeth, the way I've always explained it is that my teeth felt like glass. So I always thought like if I was gonna bite something, there it was gonna break. 
just remember it's just sore so your teeth won't break because I wish somebody could have told me that that my teeth weren't gonna break because I did not eat anything so <laughs> just your teeth are gonna be sore afterwards I'm sorry it's just part of braces your teeth will be a little sore for me personally it was not like painful painful but it did hurt so just want to mention that and also like right after you get your braces on you might talk weird because I know me I personally have like a lisp and I feel like I still have it but right after I didn't know where to move my lips I didn't know how to talk really so it's gonna feel weird but honestly within like a week or two you get so used to having your braces on you won't even notice anymore and so those were that was nine things that like you should do definitely before you go into your appointment I am next gonna point out six things that you should pretty much buy in no sense there's one it's one thing that you should do five other things that you should definitely buy before you go like before you get your braces on just so you're prepared so the first thing I would suggest before you even get your braces on is to eat something that you personally love because most likely the thing that you love it's gonna be hard to eat later on like example my favorite is tacos and hamburgers but those are kind of hard to eat and you technically I don't even think you're supposed to eat them when you have braces on but I still do but again it's kind of harder to do so I would recommend eating that beforehand because you know so you can enjoy it anyways that's kind of I just wanted to point that out there because I didn't know how hard it was going to be to be able to eat some of my favorite foods and then the next things are going to be five things I think you should buy before you get your braces on just so you already have it the first thing would be to buy fruit smoothies juices or like soft foods soups noodles anything soft because for the first like week or two you're not going to want to eat anything it's going to be hard to eat again as i said my teeth felt like glass when i first got my teeth on or when i first got my braces on paired the next thing i would recommend would be to buy a water pick i say a water pick because yes they're going to give you a little essentials of with wax and whatnot and even with floss but water pick is 10 times better and easier than flossing yourself some people say to still manually like floss your teeth but honestly it's kind of hard with braces because you have the wire so I'd recommend having a water pick already because I had to wait like a week or two before I got my water pick because I ordered well for one I could have just went to the store you could get it at I believe you could get one at Target but I decided to order mine off of Amazon but I wish I would have had it the first day I had my braces because it just gets everything out your teeth and it's just so much easier. So definitely, definitely recommend buying a water pick before you get your braces on. Don't wait like I did because it's, uh, it's not worth it. The next thing would be straws. I say straws because you shouldn't um, anyways drink dark liquids like coffee dark sodas because it can stain your teeth with the brackets the next thing i would recommend buying would be to buy a pack of like soft bristle toothbrushes i bought like a pack of like five from target and i bought the pack because honestly the bristles on your toothbrush get messed up because of the wiring so the next two things kind of go together and that would be to buy mouthwash and to buy non-whitening toothpaste the mouthwash that i use is act this one right here i use this one because mainly all of like the tiktoks youtube videos i've seen every dentist has recommended act so Definitely recommend this one. It does not burn your mouth or like your gums like some mouthwashes do. So I really like it. And also to buy a non-whitening toothpaste, which I use this one. They suggest not using whitening toothpaste because it can stain, again, stain your teeth. And it can leave, like when you get your braces off, it can leave, leave stains on it. So I don't recommend using that. I personally do not. So yeah, those were the 15 things to 
no to be prepared for getting your braces on. I hope you guys like my video. Again, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what kind of videos you would like. And bye. Like the way yeah. she works. Hey, she always puts me first.